Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I got this makeup and hair that I wore in a recent Instagram photo. If you're not following me on Instagram, be sure you do. But um, you guys really, really like liked it. I was shocked. I didn't think you guys would because it's very different from what I usually do and it's very wild. But you guys really wanted a tutorial on how to do it. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it in this video. If you guys can or cannot tell, this is heavily inspired by the 1960s. The makeup I got from Vogue magazine from the 1960s and honestly it was commonly worn by a lot of women that we now shun today why are we shunning this combo it's perfection I love it it's like the Joker but make it fashion the Superman popsicle but make it fashion now for the hair I was heavily inspired by Priscilla Presley which is Elvis Presley's uh, wife and she would often wear a little beehive on top so the hairstyle is inspired by Priscilla Presley but the butterfly addition to it is inspired by a magazine from 1968 um, there was a few magazines with butterflies in their hair, so that's what gave me the inspo for this entire look, all from the 60s. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is pull all of your hair back. So I got this headband, it's a bunny headband. It's pastel pink with a little cream beige. It's got a little tail at the end. And I got this because I love bunnies. As you can tell, bunnies is like my main theme. And I thought I was going to live out my full Lola Bunny moment. I thought that I would be the Elle Woods of YouTube. I thought that I would look cute with the bunny headband. But little did I know... That I would become Arthur. And if you don't quite see it yet, let me just... So starting off, I'm applying right now the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Um, this is my second favorite foundation next to the Pat McGrath foundation. Um, but I just flip flop between the two. And I'm applying it with the Pat McGrath brush. Absolutely love. Next is concealer. And I'm using the Dermablend Flawless Creator, the lightest color as a concealer. This stuff rocks. It is such good coverage. And I'm just applying that on, just like that. And also on the eyelid, because the color that we're putting on the eyelid is blue. And whenever you do colors like that, you want to make sure that you get the like most accurate color possible. And doing a light concealer can help that. Next, I'm applying face powder. So I'm using the Pat McGrath Labs face powder. It is called the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Setting Powder in the color light one. And I'm using the matching brush for that. And I'm just, like it's in the name, setting it. Ooh, oh, oh, mm, don't do that. Um, that's a lot, sure. Uh-huh, okay, we fixed it, okay. Okay, so yeah, you're just gonna put it all over. That's it, that's the trick. So next, we're going to be applying blush and highlighter, and look how cute these are. They look so good together. I love hearts. Hearts are everything. So these are the Too Faced uh, Love Flush Collection. This one's Love Flush um, in the color Baby Love, and this is Love Light in the color Blinded by the Light. Yeah, these are my go-tos, and the packaging is probably the reason why it's my go-to. <laughs> Next, I'm using some bronzer. This is the Too Faced Chocolate so Soleil. Um, so yeah. So this is the palette that we're going to be using today, and I'm going to be grabbing primarily these two colors. This is a ColourPop Collection palette. And yeah, this is the perfect palette for this look. So first I'm going to be taking that light blue and applying it all over the lid. Next, you want to take that sky blue and put it into the crease. Next, you want to take a highlighter color and apply it on the inner corners. OK. 
okay and then we're gonna apply some eyeliner and we're gonna go make the wing straight this way thick 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 thin and then line the under eye This is a very, very, if not the most iconic eyeliner look of the 1960s, popularized by Elizabeth Taylor when she played the role Cleopatra in 1963, and also popularized by Priscilla Presley. So this is like, if you want to look 1960s, this is it. So next you want to put on some lashes. This is just going to open up your eye and make your makeup look nicer. Um, so you want to apply that on the top. All right. And you want to apply a lot of mascara on the bottom lashes just because that was very popular in the 60s. Twiggy is the perfect example of that. So don't be afraid to clump it up a little bit and make them extra long. So for the lips, you can either use a red lipstick or a peach lipstick. Both of them look fantastic and they're both in the kind of red family. But I'm going to go for red because it's iconic. <laughs> Now before I forget, this is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the color Hot Cakes. Um, basically you just want to look for a red lipstick that has an orange undertone instead of a blue undertone just because it's more summery and also because in the 60s that's usually the color tone that they've had at the time. So it's more decade appropriate, but again if you're not bold enough to wear this color combo, this forbidden color combo, you can honestly just use um, a peachy color and it'll probably look better and also it will be more socially acceptable so yeah I'll quickly do my eyebrows nothing too fancy you want them to be not too thin not too thick just put together all right so the hair is honestly so easy I know it looks hard but it's really not so you want to take the crown of your head this little piece here and you want to just bump it up see Boom, just like that. And you're just gonna pin it with bobby pins. And you wanna use multiple bobby pins so you can form the perfect bump. And you wanna look to the front and make sure it's like a good circle and pin it. And then here, you wanna close that gap, pin it to your head. Just like that. If you want, you can hairspray it like a lot to make it stay, even if you're in the wind. But since I'm not going out today, I'm not going to be hairspraying it. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is part your hair down the middle. Make sure it's a straight line, like that. And we're going to curl these into like short little bangs. Okay, perfect. So next I'm just going to roughly comb the bangs out a little bit just because I don't want it too curly. It looks cute that way, but the way I had it in the photo was a little bit more relaxed. More like, yeah. It kind of looks like Belle from Beauty and the Beast, kind of. So I'm going to quickly brush it through and honestly you can stop here. You really don't need to put the butterflies in. The butterflies is more of a picture purposes thing. So this would be more of like a, I'm going to the supermarket <laughs> look. Um, so yeah, naturally I would stop here. But because I was planning to take a Instagram photo with this look, I put in the butterflies. So this is the butterflies that I have. I got these from yesstyle.com. And yeah, don't think too hard, just stick it around. Just make sure that there aren't like 
right next to each other. And when I did this Instagram photo, I literally took like 20 minutes doing this because I wanted them to be perfect and like natural. But basically the point is that it's gotta look like it landed on your head. So, so the way I did the Instagram photo was by sitting like this. Let me look at my photo, yeah. And then I had my earrings showing a bit. This was more like relaxed, but this one was more up like that. And then I posed like, Make sure that your wing shows, it's important. <laughs> Make sure the wing shows with a lot of placement stuff, a lot of placement work, and then like that, pretty much. And so that really like sold it. So I'm gonna show you guys, since you guys stayed all the way to the end, I'm gonna show you guys how I edited the photo to look authentic to the 1960s. So, you wanna take your photo. <laughs> you want to go to Visco, which is spelled V-S-C-O. It's a very popular editing app, and you want to grab the A4 filter. I put it at 6.3, plus 6.3 on the A4 analog filter. Then I put grain, which was 4.0, and that's it for now. Then you wanna to go to Instagram, you wanna get the Valencia filter. Then I grab the fade, put it to 21. Then I grab the contrast, brought it down to 16, and then turned up the brightness just a little bit by two. But all of that kind of work, the brightness and contrast, has to be by eye because it depends on the lighting in your photo. But that is literally all I use, and now you know. Now you know my secrets, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you guys like this video. If you guys want me to create more either outrageous decade looks like this inspired by magazines, or if you want me to do decade looks that are more natural, everyday looks, let me know, and I'll do it. Um, also, comment down below any video ideas that you might have. Uh, subscribe so that way you guys get more vintage and princess content, and make sure you turn on the notification bell so you know when I post. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one.